Florida Health Services has issued a public measles alert aimed at everyone who may have been close to one measles patient. Health Services says the lab confirmed patient was on an Air Canada flight. It was flight 206 from Vancouver to Calgary Thursday, November 23rd. The patient was then taken to Alberta's Children's Hospital on the 24th and the 27th. Anyone who was in these locations at the time is encouraged to review their immunization records. Measles symptoms include a high fever, 38.3 degrees Celsius or higher, a cough, runny nose, red eyes, and a red blotchy rash that appears a few days after the fever starts. CTV's Bill McFarland is joining us now from Calgary with more. Bill, good morning to you. So give us the details on this alert from Alberta. Why was it issued? Because I think a lot of our viewers might be thinking, it's one case, why issue a public health alert? Yeah, well, the, the biggest reason, Marcia, is because it, it hangs in the air for so long. It's a very contagious disease. We kind of forget that because for a couple of generations in Canada, uh, measles hasn't been a really big factor because of immunization rates uh, over the years. But um, again, people are sharing indoor spaces uh, with this patient on the airplane for the hour. They were in the arrival section of the airport uh, up until 3.15 that afternoon. So another kind of two and a half hours after they arrived. Uh, back in uh, Calgary uh, and then again on two occasions here at Alberta Children's Hospital for a total of someplace around eight or nine hours um, and then if you add that you know that two hours where it's uh, contagious in the air afterwards it's it's a lot uh, and people have that chance of getting uh, getting exposed uh, immunization rates uh, for measles in Alberta someplace around 80 88 89 percent or so but we also know there are breakthrough cases it's in kind of the single digits but uh, you know, people who are immune compromised, people who are pregnant, um, there's people with risk factors. Those people, there is um, medication available that will prevent measles after exposure. Uh, and AHS is asking those people as well, um, particularly to call in um, and get connected with those health services. Okay, and let's remind people again of the symptoms. What are doctors saying people need to be on the lookout for right now? Yeah, so it's that fever that you mentioned as well, but there's also that red blotchy rash, and it usually appears within a few days uh, of that of the beginning of the onset of the of fever. There's no treatment for measles, really. I mean, they could try kind of treat symptoms, but there's nothing to really treat the disease. You sort of have to let it run its course. Um, but again, they do have that preventative medicine for some people uh, who are in kind of high risk uh, categories who may have been exposed, and that's what they'd like to see people uh, go in and get. Um, uh, again, though, like that, it's that fever, that runny nose. Um, really kind of like a bad flu at first, but it's more significant than most flus. Okay, more significant. Bill, thank you for that.